so let's start with a revision of uh, revision test 2 one you have already given and you got good marks also in that fine most of the students they were able to secure 18 or 19 out of 20 and many of you also scored 20 on 20 how many marks you got 16 so you need to see where i am lagging behind fine and the test was not that difficult also let me tell you clearly expect the next level of test in the periodics fine so let me tell you the kind of questions you have business letters firstly we will revise the format in the format first of all we have sender's address so you can get a question that what comes first in the at the topmost position in the business letter sender's address comes first fine and then after that we skip a line and we write date what is the correct format of the date it is like this second september 2021 this is correct september 2 comma 2021 this is also correct fine but if it is written this is correct this is correct in that way this is wrong fine or any other way so you know the suitable ways to write the date fine so date will be here then skip one line then comes the receiver's address in receiver's address beta one recipient should be there fine like you are writing a uh, business letters mein kya kya aata hai enquiry reply to the enquiry complaint and placing order if they have mentioned in the statement the receiver is the manager write a letter to the manager so our recipient will be the manager write a letter to the director of the academy asking about something so recipient is the director fine so it depends to whom you are writing but one recipient must be there if it is not there you have to invent in subjective receiver's address is usually a two or three line address recipient and the address and the city of the recipient that is written then again you skip one line then you write subject so you should remember the order in which the, all these things come sender address date receiver address subject where do we write the subject after the receiver's address before the receiver's address after the date before the date in that way so you should know each and everything fine subject is there and it's not it's very easy which i'm discussing sometimes you can get a statement to whom this letter will be addressed the director the manager the owner none of the above in that way but all of the above and none of the above kind of questions will be avoided so that more confusion is added by giving you four options fine so you should know to whom this letter is addressed properly subject of this letter can be a statement is given to you fine and you are supposed to choose the correct subject and there will be subjects which all seem to be correct it will be not that easy ki okay ha yahi lag raha hai chalo let's see there will be many op at least two options will be there they seem to be exactly the answer but you have to apply your brains and see according to the situation ki kya subject ho sakta hai fine then we have salutation you should know this word what do we call this salutation fine dear sir dear ma'am dear mr malhotra that is also correct when we write a name in a business letter fine it's not mandatory that you are writing dear sir or dear ma'am we can address a person by name it depends what sort of relation you are having and if calling someone mr malhotra who is elder than you is correct also but you are using the word mr in in most of the business dealings we used we use this uh, you can say caste or second name of the person fine dear mr kapoor in that way that is also correct or dear mr anil that is also fine salutation after salutation comes body of the letter
in body of the letter now it varies if it is in the body of the letter if it is an inquiry then you will be making inquiries if it is a reply you will give replies to the inquiry but sabse pehle first paragraph mein you will introduce yourself that who you are and why are you writing this letter your introduction and your purpose of writing the letter comes first yes diya is it clear fine are you listening and in the second paragraph then we come to the content part that what is required in the statement suppose it is a a placing order then we will place an order we will draw the table we will write serial number item name brand quantity then we will expect the order to be placed within a fortnight or within two weeks at the end uh, after writing the letter comes salutation ke baad jo last mein aata hai that is known as subscription fine i'll write here इधर से आपको विजिबल नहीं है एट दी एंड सपोज यू राइटिंग लेटर बॉडी ऑफ द लेटर इधर खत्म हो गया आपके पास हेयर स्किप वन लाइन योर्स नाउ योर्स में कोई पोस्ट ऑफ साइन नहीं होता क्लियर योर्स ट्रूली नेम जो भी आपका नेम गिव This is known as subscription. So these terminologies you should know. Clear? Subscription is the ending part of the letter. Clear? Is it clear the basic format and the kind of questions? Fine. About the format, questions can be there about the content, about whom it is addressed. Uh, right topic whatsoever related to fine but in subjective what happened in subjective you used to write in that you had to think of the ideas what to write over here but in mcqs you should be an aware uh, reader also and read with understanding ki what exactly is asked but it does not mean you will not read any letter go through one or two letters you will have a fair idea ki okay this is what it is all about clear yeah? so business letters i have discussed beta determiners ka proper lecture discuss hua tha when there was joint class with plus 1 c remember clear and uh, because we have three periods only today tomorrow and the next day so you can tell me beta in which chapter you are facing problem we have landscape of the soul we have uh, photograph we have laburnum top and summer of beautiful white horse तो so, आपको किस चैप्टर में प्रॉब्लम आ रही है सो दैट आई कैन आई विल सी द मैक्सिमम वोट्स गो टू दिस चैप्टर लेबनम टॉप ओके यस ऑनलाइन चिल्ड्रन काइंडली टाइप इन द चैट बॉक्स और यू कैन रेज योर हैंड आई विल अनम्यूट यू आप जब तक मैं बोर्ड क्लीन कर रही हूँ यू डिसाइड विच चैप्टर और पोएम यू वॉन्ट मी टू रिवाइज क्योंकि हमने सब कुछ किया हुआ है रिवाइज भी हो चुका है ऑलमोस्ट पोएट्री हमारी सिलेबस ऑफ आर टी टू इज दिस ओनली ना मेक श्योर मैंने यही पढ़ा था अभी वैसे तो यस सो आई हैव टू स्टूडेंट्स ओके अदिति रमन एंड प्रभदीप ऑल आर सेइंग लेबरनम टॉप सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू लेबरनम टॉप फाइन लेबरनम टॉप करते हैं first of all you should know the name of the poem as well as name of the poet kindly check the spelling i guess there is laburnum and you am we will do some questions also based on this poem after this the laburnum top yes you can note down some points also it is written by ted hughes 
firstly learn the name of the poet ted hughes the laburnum top so what is laburnum is a tree so they are going to talk about the top of the tree it's not about the top only but they are going to tell us a deeper meaning is there in this poem fine firstly the they will mention the month of september and weather kaun sa autumn you should know so clearly poet ed hughes has mentioned that it is the weather of autumn autumn is known for uh, the weather arrival of autumn means shedding of leaves right spring means when rejuvenation of new leaves and flowers are there so autumn is a, a symbolic of or it is the weather of when almost all the leaves or few leaves or in different it varies from tree to tree fine so autumn is known for that weather september so they have mentioned the month that autumn september sunlight so it means a broad daylight is there in the month of september clear and highest part of the laburnum tree the top of the tree is silent in the weather of autumn in the month of september fine the tree top the top of this laburnum tree seems to be silent so in the beginning of the poem we get to know that there is silence prevailing at this tree fine then poet says that there is a few of its leaves are turning yellow but all of its seeds have fallen fine a few leaves yellow which color is prominent this yellow and almost all seeds fallen this is the situation that all the seeds have fallen and a few leaves are turning yellow a few leaves are still there clear after that poet say that says that quite watchfully and smoothly like a lizard then they will be mentioning one bird goldfinch goldfinch is a bird fine goldfinch is a bird so poet says that when there is sudden silence and there is no commotion no movement september sunlight suddenly there is a movement on the tree there is one alightment sudden uh, movement by this bird goldfinch so goldfinch enters the laburnum tree just like a lizard like a lizard which poetic device is used simile or metaphor anyone raise your hand when we use word when we make comparison by using as like then it is a simile but when we make direct comparisons that is a metaphor fine when human qualities are given to objects that is personification and when a sound is repeated that is alliteration clear you should know the difference of all the poetic devices so when there is silence and suddenly this goldfinch enters the thickness of this tree and suddenly this tree is filled with short a series of short quick high pitched chattering sounds chattering sounds quick chattering sounds who's making those quick chattering sounds goldfinch has entered the thickness of this laburnum top this laburnum tree and it wants to feed its young ones so by seeing the mother uh, the young ones of this uh, goldfinch bird they start producing noise fine so there is a nest inside and the, the chattering sounds so there is sudden change of the atmosphere suddenly there was silence and now there is no noise now there is commotion and noise is of um you can say fluttering of wings also chattering sounds 
flutter of wings when they flutter their wings that sound can also be heard over there so suddenly the silence turned into beautiful different sounds fluttering sounds of wings chattering sounds of birds fine so how did uh, how did goldfinch enter the tree smoothly like a lizard then the tree is filled up with the, this commotion and shaking movement and what does it feel like poet says that as if a machine has started its work fine the way a machine starts its work in that way when goldfinch enters so a machine starts it, its work which poetic device is this if they have used the word as and like it will be simile directly machine then it will be metaphor the whole tree shakes perhaps the goldfinch has made her nest there and maybe she feeds her young one so poet is not sure but yes goldfinch is coming to the tree obviously to feed the young ones fine so engine of her family re responds to her call and after stalking them and she moves out in a short time after feeding the young ones it goes to the other end of the branch when she entered from one end of the branch into the thickness and into the thickness she uh, fed her young ones and then again she moved to other end of the branch fine and when she moved to the other end her face was partly visible to people or they have not mentioned to whom but her face was partly visible from the thickness of the leaves and that's why poet has used the word bars on her face serve as mask for her identity right bars on her face so face is not clearly visible as if she is wearing a mask only so it seems right then with a mysterious and frightening light pleasant soft sound of whistling and chirping she shoots towards the infinite sky after feeding when her work is done she moves to another branch of the tree showing her bard face identity mask and suddenly she takes a flight into the infinite sky infinite which cannot be measured fine unending so she moved towards infinite sky and again laburnum top this tree becomes silent again same situation prevails there is no commotion everything seems to be empty fine gloomy obviously when there is silence that seems to be gloomy and sad when there is noise this it's it is connected with happiness that sounds and all so what what do we learn out of this poem yes kids that this is life only once there is life and commotion and death follows fine and after that that cycle keeps on moving after life death comes again rejuvenation again life so this cycle goes on and on so this is what we learn out of this fine and the question answers the name of the poem the name of the poet season month and about the goldfinch poetic devices used okay I'll let me tell you I'll let me ask you one question there is a sudden strong tremor in the tree there is a line there is a sudden strong tremor in the tree which poetic device is used here raise your hand come on fast yes Ramanjit you uh, asked for it Aditi also you asked for this poem we have done this so tell me now which poetic device is used here okay dia wants to answer yes beta mom metaphor how can you say that this is metaphor metaphor is direct comparison any other child yes correct answer so prabdeep has given correct answer she's sitting here in the offline class what about others yes are you listening yes anjali correct answer anjali has uh, written in the 
chat box alliteration alliteration fine because see the line is uh, s sound is repeated and t sound sudden strong tremor in the tree so this is alliteration the laburnum tree starts trembling why because there is strong storm because there is departure of the goldfinch because movement of the wings of the young ones none of the above yes any other let me ask uh, i'll be naming the child then yes now firstly let me ask ramanjit you asked for this poem beta is it clear to you ramanjit singh yes beta yes okay. ma'am okay tell me i'll repeat the question the lebanon tree starts trembling why because of the strong storm because of the departure of the gold finch because of the movement of the wings of the young ones none of these ma'am because of the departure of the gold finch this is wrong answer see i told you you will be getting questions in which two options will be correct or three options will be correct unhone puche laburnum tree starts trembling fine now you have to go through the poem when there is fluttering of the wings when there is chattering sound when they are moving their wings then there is movement departure of pe unhone mention nahi kiya when uh, it leaves there is again silence they are not talking about that when goldfinch left and there was some movement no when it left there was some silence fine so you have to be a smart reader i'm telling you dhyan se samjho सिर्फ पोएम की थीम आने से या पोएम आने से आपके क्वेश्चंस नहीं सॉल्व हो जाएंगे यू हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी स्मार्ट इनफ टू परसीव ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द दिस इज नॉट एन एमसीक्यू yes beta then with the iri delicate whistle chirp whisperings she launches away towards the infinite and laburnum subsides to empty this is one stanza written here fine infinite refers to forest sea sky earth this is very easy fine obviously Yes, Aditi. Aditi, you can speak with him. Sky. Yes, fine. This is very easy because these kind of questions you never expect even. There will be, but few of them. Then we have. The gold finch. flew towards the infinite sky in a dash way i repeat the gold finch flew towards the infinite sky in a dash way in a mysterious way in a silent way in a grave way all of the above silent is your answer any other yes online children you can type in the chat box if you want to if you don't want to speak beta wrong answer ho jayega aur kya ho jayega in a dash way okay you are saying in a silent way this is now again uh, you have to read the poem in a mysterious way is the correct answer when this is mentioned again in the poem so she uh, went towards uh, to a flight towards the sky in a mysterious way there are some questions sound words used in this poem are 
whistle whispering chitterings all of the above ab batao zara ab dimag ghuma thoda sound words now let me tell you okay aditi i'll give you the chance firstly let me tell you this poetic device onomatopoeia onomatopoeia is onomatopoeia is the poetic device in which the word and its a sound the sound it produces they are alike alike matlab almost same means the word like i'm saying uh bees buzz snake hiss sach mein jab snake hiss karta hai aawaz kaise aati hai and we call the word hiss so such words which produce the sound also and the the actual word they uh, they seem to be alike that is called the device of onomatopoeia for your knowledge sake i'm telling you fine so now they are saying sound words unko hi sound words kehte hain clear sound words used in the poem are whistling trillings chitterings all of the above now aditi you raise hand tell me yes diya mama all the above yes correct answer it is so all these words are actually sound words fine but ek bhi beech mein aisa aata Fine, startles या trembles आ जाता बीच में trillings trembles starts in that way then you can find out easily you should be prepared for everything okay bell हो चुकी है have a nice day and बेटा please join all the periods regularly